Hello, Team Green. Let's get ready for calendar. Today is Santa Day. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Today is Thursday, December 10th. 2020. We have another pictograph today. The first thing we want to do when we see a pictograph is look down at the key. It is a pictograph for favorite pets and there's paw prints and each paw print is for stands for two votes. So we have to count by twos again. Here we go. We're going to count by twos for the cat. Two, four, six, eight, 10. There are 10 votes for cat. How about for dogs? Two, four. Only four votes for dog. And for hamster? Two, four, six. All right, here's some questions. Which one has the most votes? Can you guess which one has the most? It is cat. Cat has the most votes. Which one has the least votes? Which one has the least? It is dog. Dog only has two paw prints, so that's four votes. Nice job, friends. Let's add a day of school. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven in the ones place. Let's put a seven up there. There's a seven. Okay, we did not change the tens place or the hundreds place. So repeat after me, repeat after you. Zero hundreds, zero hundreds, seven tens, seven tens, and seven ones, and seven ones makes the number what number is this? A seven and a seven is 77. All right, we have been in school for 77 days. All right, my friends, I feel like we are getting so close to being able to do the bundle dance. Let's do a missing number and find out how many more days we need. Okay. So I know that I have seven ones. And I also know that in order to make a bundle, I need to have 10 ones. So I know 10 is more. So I'm gonna add some till I can get to 10. How many do I need to add to go from seven to 10? Let's count on. Seven, eight, nine, 10. Three. I need three more to get to 10. Only three more days and we get to do the bundle dance. It's so exciting. Okay, my friends, it is time for time. Can you say the time on the clock before I do? Let's see. What time is this? Three. O'clock. What time is this? Hmm. Little brother is in between the two and the three. So he goes back to the two. And big brother is at 30. So two o'clock. What time is this? This one's going to be tricky. Now, it looks like Little Brother's on the three, but Big Brother's really close to o'clock and he's not at o'clock yet. So that means that Little Brother is not at three yet. So Little Brother's actually gonna go back to the two and then we need to count by fives. Count with me. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. It is 2, 55. Were you able to get that time before me? That was a very tricky one. I like doing those tricky ones where big brother's almost to o'clock 
So then little brother's almost to the next number. That's when you're gonna have to start practicing. All right, my friends, that's all for me for calendar today. Now it's time for Fact Families with Miss Nelson. Ho, 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 ho. Hi, friends. Welcome back to Fact Families. Today, we are still working on our related facts. And today, our Fact Family members are 10, 6, and 16. So we're going to be working with these numbers to... Um, create some equations that are related to each other. So we'll start with, um, let's start with the big brother addition. So I'm gonna set up the equation and we're going to figure out what we could do to make, to make an equation out of these numbers. So let's start with the little number because we need these two to equal this. So we'll start with six. Can you guess what our next number will be? Will it be 10 or 16? Plus 10 equals, if you guess 16, you're right, because that's part of our fact family, 16. Next, we're gonna do our little sister fact or our takeaway. So we're going to do 16, because we always start with the biggest number, minus, or take away, 10 equals, can you tell me what 16 take away 10 equals? You're right, it's 6. All right, friends, there you have our two related facts. And next time, we'll be doing some more related facts. I hope you enjoyed this lesson, and I will see you next time. Bye, friends.